Hi, Barry Foster here and welcome back to The Scottish Job. This is episode number 29 with uh, Glenn Roths up in the sixth tier of Scottish football. And today we've got a South Challenge Cup semi-final away to East Stirlingshire. But before we get to uh, that cup game, we played one more match in the league. That was against uh, Camelon and that turned out to be a 3-1 victory away from home with uh, Charlie Higgs scoring two very nice goals and McLeod K also putting the icing on the cake in the 79th minute. And as a result of that match, as you can see, we're um, 11 points clear now at the top of the table on 72 points. And that's 11 points clear of Dunbar United, Linlithgow Rose and Crossgates and also Lothian Thistle. Uh, four teams all sitting on 61 points. And uh, in my last video, I did actually name it No, it's a bloody treble. And that was for a reason, because the game didn't seem to recognize that uh, we had al already won three pieces of silverware this season. Uh, the game actually said we're, we had done the double. And as you can see from uh, the, the history there on the right hand uh, side of the screen team, we have won six pieces of silverware three of course came from last season and the other three are from the current season so we're actually on track to do the quadruple the quad if we can get to the uh the final of uh, this south challenge cup but anyway without further chit chat let's go and play east stirlingshire and as usual, uh, a pretty uh, strong starting 11 for Glenn Roth. So we've got uh, Richardson in goal, Denton, Flynn, Strachan and Lumsden across the back line with Motruck, Honeyman, Marshews and McLeod K in midfield, Higgs and Curry up at the, uh, the, ta the attacking end. And on the bench we'll have um, Bob McGowan, Watson, Paver, Bell, Lovett, Edwards and Scotty Miller. So let's go and chat to the boys. OK, well, the assistant reckons we should uh, carry... Carry your last performance in today's match and we'll reach the final. Well, yes, I guess we could probably agree with that, but I'm going to go with the second one. Let's go out there and cause an upset. We are away from home uh, against a side in, uh, I think they're in um, the Lowland League. I think that's right. And they're doing quite well in their league. They're currently uh, fourth, or they came fourth in that league. So uh, they're not a bad side at, at, at all. But uh, neither are... Are Glenn Roths. They've done extremely well in the uh, in the two seasons that I've been with them. And it's uh, East Stirlingshire that gets the game underway in what appears to be rather fine conditions and on a pretty good pitch. And of course, uh, with the season drawing to a close, I'm still to uh, find out who we we will be playing in the uh, the playoffs? I really quite I can't work that out. I must be a little bit stupid or something, but um, hopefully that will be clarified fairly quickly. We've only got one more league match to uh, to play, uh, and I'd say that uh, as soon as we play that, it should be uh, uh, clarified just what the playoffs are going to uh, to be. I think it's actually will be three teams in a group, and I think the top team goes through. But of course, um, one team will go through to the uh, the Highland League. <clears throat> Excuse me, my voice is still rather uh, croaky after the flu I had. And uh, in another group, um, the top team will go through to the um, Lowland League. So um, I'm not quite sure which one we're going to be in and uh, who we're going to be playing. But as I said, we'll probably get that all sorted out fairly, fairly quickly. But it would be good to get to another uh, cup final. We've done pretty well in cup finals so far. Anyway, this is McLeod K and he'll get a corner. Rather good that we're doing a bit of attacking in the opening seven, eight minutes of the match. And Higgs taking the corner. Oh, that's not a bad effort there. Normally Higgs um, <clears throat> doesn't take our corners, but um, well, I don't think he does. But anyway, we had a striker taking a corner. And so far, it's only Glenn Roths who are doing any shooting at goals. Probably shouldn't uh, speak too soon as uh, the hosts have possession. And that's not a bad ball through. 
this could be dangerous. Oh, well, he shot straight at Richardson, but at least Richardson made himself big and uh, put the ball away for a corner. In recent games, we've been defending corners not too badly, which is uh, good to see because often they uh, they seem to be your Achilles heel in uh, in FM. Well, that's my experience anyway. It's uh, surprising the number of goals that are conceded at uh, corners by your team. But anyway, this is uh, East Stirlingshire still with uh, possession and a decent looking cross, but that's well met by Strachan. And that's now thumped downfield by one of our defenders. Well and truly cleared. And of course, another thing I've got to work out is... Um, should some of the players about to come off contract uh, get uh, new contracts like uh, Strachan and Flynn, uh, two central defenders who have done very well this season, but both uh, are in their early 30s. So I've, uh, I've got to work out whether I should be giving them new contracts for a new season. Anyway, this is not bad with Motruck. Motoring in, but he put his header just over the bar. And of course, uh, there will be some uh, players leaving us in midfield like uh, Kyle Bell and also Declan Dunn. I think both both those players have uh, refused to enter into contract uh, negotiations. Bit of a shame with Bell because I think Bell was a very good player, but he he has been overshadowed by Marsh Hughes this, uh, this season. And Marsh Hughes has played uh, very, very well. Anyway, this is McDonald now for... The host, and that's a good ball. Oh, well, another good save by Richardson, but I think uh, the player was offside, so it wouldn't have uh, wouldn't have counted. But anyway, Glen Roth's with a free kick, and there is Marsh Hughes, the man I've just been talking about, putting the ball in the back of the net. And that's one of the reasons why poor old Kyle Bell doesn't get a a place in the starting eleven, or not not very often. Higgs with the uh, the free kick. Marsh Hughes just puts his right boot out and beats the keeper. So, OK, 1-0 to the Glens after about 29 minutes. That's uh, pretty, pretty good going against, I think, uh, a fairly decent uh, side in East Stirlingshire. I mean, if you come uh, fourth in your league, you've got to be not a bad side at all. But anyway, plenty of football to go in the game. And this is uh, Lumsden, who's on a yellow. Now East Stirlingshire will uh, bring it back through Hodge. Pretty decent run. Probably a decent cross here as well. Oh, gee whiz, Richardson once again. Fantastic save. I thought that was going to beat him and just creep over the line. But he somehow got down to it. So he is having a bit of a, a whale of a game for us between the sticks. And I think at the moment there's no need to call out any shouts to the uh, the team because they're all playing pretty well. And we've got the lead as well. So, um, so far, so good. Maybe about six minutes to go in this uh, first half. Once again, East Stirlingshire with possession, but they'll get a, they'll get a throw in. Now Thompson for East Stirlingshire and I think they're going to get a corner or was he offside? No, it's going to be a corner. So another corner for us to defend in the 40th minute. Thompson with the corner. Oh, well, well headed away. Couldn't see who was doing the heading, but it was a pretty good header. Anyway, this is Richardson now. Bit of hesitation there coming out for that ball. Now Denton, who's been a very reliable player at uh, left back over two seasons, he's been extremely, extremely good. Now Marsh Hughes, the goal scorer, playing it through for Motruck, who's uh, in today instead of uh, Charlie Edwards, who's on the bench, having a bit of a rest. And that's Curry with a pretty good header just over the bar. Keeper obviously didn't get his fingertips to that. In the other match, civil service and uh, Arthurly. Arthurly, I think that's how you pronounce it, nil-nil. So it's 
one of those teams will be advancing to uh, the final. And there we are, half time. Before 639 fans, that's not a bad uh, turnout, I reckon, for a semi final. It's Glen Roth's leading East Sterling Show 1 0. Let's go and chat to the boys. Okay, well, at uh, half time, the old point the finger and let's tell the boys keep it up. It was, a, I think, a very good first half. And if we can do the same in the second half, I'm pretty sure they'll get to another cup final, which would be um, a bit of a hoot, I reckon. They're doing extremely well as a as a team. That's Motruck being uh, brought down there. Another possible piece of silverware to make it four for the season would be, um, I think, just icing on the cake for the boys. But of course, we um, what we really would love to do is get promoted to another another tier of uh, Scottish football. That would be, uh, I think, a great thing for the club. Unfortunately, I don't think we're going to be getting much in the way of money uh, if we do get promoted. And currently our finances are, are absolute shambles, but I can't do anything about that. Anyway, this is, uh, looks like Curry who had possession there. Now Lumsden will just lump it forward. That's okay. Straight to Higgs. He's had a, a very good season as a striker, along with Curry. Both have scored plenty of plenty of goals. Anyway, this is Honeyman now Strachan exchanging the, a few passes. Now Denton. Now this is Curry to Motruck. He'll try his luck, but oh, well, he's a bit ambitious. He was uh, quite a few metres off, uh, off target. Anyway, this is Gibbons with a, a looping sort of a header, but Hodge has uh, got possession for East Stirlingshire. Here comes his cross. Well, in the end, an easy one for Richardson. No drama in taking one of those. So we're coming up to 60 minutes. And I'm tempted to maybe make a change. We'll just see how things go. We've got Lumsden on that yellow card. He's having a... Not a bad game for us, but I think we'll make our first substitution. And what I'm, what, I'm, what I'm going to do is Lennon Watson, the youngster on loan. We're going to bring him on for Strachan. Strachan is getting a little bit tired out there. In fact, uh, Matthew Flynn is also getting a little bit tired too. But um, Watson is uh, not a bad player off the bench, only a youngster. Oh, I think that could have been a very good save by uh, Richardson there. That was a pretty good cross and header. But obviously nothing came of the, uh, the corner. Okay, we're fast approaching 70 minutes. Let's make another substitution. I think we'll get on Harry Lovett for uh, Marsh, no, sorry, McLeod K. He's getting, uh, he's getting a bit tight out there on the right wing. And poor old uh, Lovett hasn't um, seen a great deal of uh, football this season, mainly because of um, McLeod K playing very well in that position. But so far, so good. We're still hanging on to this one goal lead, but is Stirlingshire certainly doing more attacking in this half? Now Hodge playing it to Lamb. Here comes the cross from Roden. Oh, well, once again, the header straight at Richardson. He's uh, been a very safe pair of hands for us in this match. Hope I haven't spoken too soon, but he has had a pretty good game, especially in the first half. He made some very good saves. But anyway, this is Hodge for uh, East Stirlingshire. They're trying to knock on our door and get a an equaliser. This is Burbridge. He cuts it back for Thompson. Now Lamb. Oh, this is a good, good play. Oh, once again, Richardson. Very good save. I thought that was going to beat him. But he did well. Anyway, maybe a highlight for the Glens. Let's see what we can do. A second goal would be, I think, a great thing. I think it would make it very difficult for uh, East Stirlingshire to uh, 
come back from 2-0 down. And this is Motrak. He's through. Can he do better this time? <laughs> no, not really. <laughs> he got himself into not a bad position, but his finishing was uh, a bit woeful. OK, well, let's make uh, one final substitution in this match. And uh, it's going to be a bit of a tough one to make, but I'm, I'm going to bring on Kyle Bell for um, uh, Marsh Hughes. Get some fresh legs in uh, midfield. And we'll see if we can uh, see out the remaining 10, 12 minutes of this football game and make another cup final. Anyway, Bell to Higgs. Just got to play some sensible possession football in the final 10 minutes. Bell playing it very, very long. And once again, Motruck almost splitting the defence. This is Lovett. Oh, good save by their keeper. That was a good move by uh, Glenn Roths. Once again, Motruck causing uh, a lot of drama with the defenders. Anyway, Higgs with another corner. And that's uh, well and truly defended by East Stirlingshire. But Lumsden with a throw. We're into the 84th minute. Can we get a second goal to really tie this uh, semi-final up? Well, not with passes like that. Anyway, East Stirlingshire through Hodge, who's been quite active in this uh, second half. And this is Friedman. Now, Stevenson, oh, he's got to be offside. I think he's got to be offside. He's put it in the back of the net. Is he offside? He might be. No, he is. Right, I thought he was. I think he was a good metre or more offside. This oh, metre, more like three or four metres. <laughs> OK, so it's still 1-0. Still 1-0 to the Glens. I think we'll um, shout out a bit of praise to the boys because they have done well. I hope I haven't spoken too soon. Anyway, this is Curry for East Stirlingshire. Now, Burbridge. Gets his cross in. Oh, well, there's the goal. There's the equaliser. And a good one. Hodge, far post. Unmarked, so it is 1-1. Uh, 87th minute equaliser. This was a good goal, I must admit. I won't um, complain about this. Burbridge, very good cross. And he was kept on side, so Hodge finished very, very well. Nothing Richardson could do about that, I think. So, OK, maybe the, 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 uh, the shout of praise was a little bit premature. But let's see what's going to happen in the dying minutes of normal time. I don't think we get any fourth substitution in uh, extra time. I'm pretty sure it's only three. Anyway, this is Curry for East Stirlingshire and they'll get a corner. So with four minutes about a time, the hosts are looking a little bit more dangerous. Oh, that's a good save by Richardson again. So we've got to defend another corner. Oh, good, uh, good header by Watson now. Higgs, can he set up a counter attack? Just beat his man rather well. Maybe a little bit fortunate. Higgs with a very good run. Can he find somebody? OK, Honeyman, Motruck. Now Honeyman again, and he's going to play it all the way back to Flynn. Now this is young Bell. Oh, I think he's found Higgs. He's in here. Higgs. Oh, yes, he was looking for that far corner. But a very good, uh, very good save by uh, the keeper. So we're in the 91st minute. Denton with the corner. You'll probably go far post, and he did, but everyone missed that one. And that'll be probably cleared by Hodge. Well, that might be it, I think, for normal uh, time. Only got about 60 seconds left, unless something happens in the final minute. Now, Denton, somebody's got to try and pump it forward into our forward line. Now, this is Higgs who will, well, header in the end back to uh, the keeper, Connolly. 
So East Stirling Shear with uh, their final attempt to score a winning goal, and I think he was well and truly offside as well in Friedman. So maybe 10 seconds left. Now oh, Motruck plays it to Higgs. Somebody's just got to lump it forward. Well, maybe not like that. And that's going to be it. Extra time kickoff. Let's go and chat to the boys. Okay, let's point the old finger and uh, tell the boys keep working hard. I think that's what they've, they've got to do in extra time. They almost had uh, a cup final in the bag, almost. But uh, East Stirlingshire did play, I think, very well in the, uh, the second half and they were rewarded with a late goal. But uh, another 30 minutes of uh, football ahead of us. So who's going to blink first? Glen Roths or East Stirlingshire? And we're certainly going to have some very, very tired players, especially in the second half of extra time. But anyway, this is Burbridge with a free kick. Oh, and there's Fulton with a very nice glancing header. And that has counted. So let's have a look at a game. Burbridge with the free kick. And he's onside and he beats Richardson with a very nice header. So 2-1 to the hosts. So we do have our backs against the wall. What can we do? Got to somehow come back and get an equaliser if we want to maybe have any chance of another cup final. Anyway, this is Flynn for Glen Roths. Now Honeyman to Higgs. Now this is Curry, but he oh he's he was beaten there. Now Connolly will play it out to one of his central defenders. They're playing their own personal game. Well, can't blame them. They got the lead, and that's a bit of a wasteful ball. But Watson can bring it back. Watson hasn't had the best of games, but that's not a bad looking pass. Oh, and the shot was blocked. He was onside. Now Higgs. And he's, well, he's gone for a tumble. Was he looking for a pen? Maybe, maybe a bit of a, bit of a strange looking uh, tumble there by Higgs. But this is another free header and he could have made it 3-1, but he missed the target just as well. So 17 shots to 14 now in favour of uh, East Stirlingshire. So they've certainly taken the game to us. Much better XG as well. So, uh... They've certainly lifted their game since half time. And this is uh, Lamb for East Stirlingshire. Now, Friedman looking for Hodge. Hodge has been a bit of a thorn in our side in this match, especially since half time. Nice ball back to Friedman, but well, he got right under that. Well and truly over the bar. I don't think I can make another sub um, if we have a bit of a look. Um, I'll see if I can bring on maybe Charlie Edwards for Motruck. I think I'll, this will probably stop me, and it does. So that's it. No more substitution can be made. The players out there will just have to um, battle through their tiredness. And there is Hodge with another goal, his 14th goal of the season. So I fear that's going to be it. I can't see the boys coming back from 3-1 down. But this was an, another pretty good goal by East Stirlingshire and a very nice header by Hodge that uh, beat Richardson. Probably the speed probably beat him. He just couldn't get his, his hands up in uh, time to uh, block the shot or block the header. Anyway, this is an interesting ball for Motruck, who will not quite get to it. I thought he was going to get to it, but uh, he didn't. He's probably uh, way too tired, I think, to run after balls like that. And this is Friedman, who is posing a few problems up here. This time he goes for another shot, but uh, over the bar once again. Well, we'll demand a bit more, but uh, I don't think it's going to do a great deal of good, really. I think, uh, I think the boys are being beaten today by a better side, certainly since uh, half-time. Anyway, this is a uh, Bell. 
and Curry. Obviously, that came to nothing. Civil Service winning their game, one goal to nil. I, I assume that is uh, full time there. So Civil Service have made the uh, the cup final of the South Challenge Cup, and it looks as though East Stirlingshire will be joining them as well, which will mean that after this match uh, we'll just play one more league match and then find out very quickly who we play in the uh, the playoffs. Anyway, love it for the Glens with a good deep cross, but uh, Motruck's header, a bit off target. Okay, only about uh, maybe seven minutes left in the match. And I think uh, they've done very well to get to the semi-final. I must admit, um, it's been another very good cup run by Glen Roth. So I can't really complain. They weren't expected to to get this far in this uh, cup competition. So they've done really well to get to the semi-final. And this is uh, Bell, but uh, a bit of rush of blood to his head. And he sent his shot well and truly high and wide. Okay, final minute of the game. Richardson sending it out to Lovett. Now Lumsden, he'll probably lump it forward. No, he doesn't. Okay. Maybe Watson will do that. We're into the 121st minute. This is Honeyman to Higgs. He plays it back to Denton. Now Motruck. He made some good runs for us in the second half, but unfortunately they didn't come to anything in terms of goal. But uh, And he's had his shot blocked. So the referee's been quite generous with um, time added on here. And that's it. East Stirlingshire, they uh, they get to the cup final with, a I think, a, a well-deserved 3-1 victory over Glen Roth's. Let's go and chat to the boys. Okay, well, um, I'm going to go with the assistant here. You did yourselves proud today, and that's all I asked for. Let's see what they... Oh, well, they like it. Okay, good. Okay, let's see who we're going to play next. Well, as you can see, our final uh, league match of the season is at home against the Hillfield Swifts. That's in six days' time. What we'll do, we'll play that one offline and uh, we'll come back for the uh, the playoff uh, matches. There will be, I think, two playoff matches that we'll be involved in. So we'll come back uh, for those games in episode number 30. So that's the uh, the episode for today. Unfortunately, a 3-1 uh, a loss to East Stirlingshire in the South Challenge Cup. But I think the boys did very well to get to the semi-final. But um, anyway, uh, I hope you have enjoyed the, uh, the video. If you have, please give us a thumbs up. If you'd like to leave a comment, please do. Until next time, I'm Barry Foster saying it's goodbye from me.